Hey guys, how's it going? Kriparian here. Today I want to give you guys uh, one of those like games where I was chasing a brand build and more importantly an actual brand card the whole game, but ended up in a situation that, well, it wasn't so bad. The case is that in games where murlocs are part of the card pool, the people that play murlocs, well, they get poisonous on them and it puts a low incentive on other players to actually play cards that win because of their overall stats, because against Murlocs, well, they won't, and that actually lowers the bar of the total number of stats you need on your Murlocs. So it's really interesting kind of play, counterplay, meta situation where, yeah, Murlocs are kind of OP when you can get them going and you get really huge stats, but it warps the games that the Murlocs are part of so significantly that you actually don't really need that many stats and you can actually play these builds reasonably well without the centerpiece, which is Bran. That's pretty cool. Take a look. Yeah, okay. You have a 3 KMR account if I need one. Another night, another You bear off. Be brave and fight true. I don't think this really matters, but you know what? Perfect. You hate the mech scam build? It's pretty good though. <laughs> good luck out there. I believe in you. The mech scam build is definitely very difficult to beat. I knew <laughs> you could do it. I like it. Don't post this brain dead murloc build to YouTube. Wait, how do you know I'm gonna be playing murloc later? I knew you could do it. I think we just do this here. Allies now. I haven't seen my YouTubes. Really? Bro, missing out. Hey, what are you doing? You can do this. I guess uh, I guess you've been watching like all the streams all the time, huh? choice here. Each tavern tier. Like puzzle box is a touch better perhaps. Because what I can do... sell a card next turn. Yeah, I guess the I guess the Murloc prophecy is uh, is working out pretty well. It's always a beautiful night when you come to visit me. YouTube tells me to watch me all the time. They know. You know where the good stuff is. You were great in that uh, I like that. Hmm. 
fine. Still need death rattles, right? Yeah. Module is a little bit on the weak side. I might freeze for a selfless though. Anything. It's a death rattle that's like not time. a waste to buy. Keep it up, your minions are dependent on you. Out there. Oh. Give some help for health. It may not be the most powerful minion on the field, but it's brave. You deserve better. Here, have a go. Nothing scares me. Except the mice. Alright, let's try that. Uh, a promo code if you guys want to try uh, HelloFresh. Uh, you can use the exclamation mark HelloFresh command, uh, or you can go uh, in the description below, or you can just go to the website on your own, HelloFresh.com, and use the code HONKCRIP, D-E-C-70, D-E-C, like December, and you get 70% off, plus free shipping on your first box. Amazing. See, that one we get it for free, though. Yes. So the offer is uh, designed for North America uh, future customers of HelloFresh, um, but uh, the code uh, has worked in a number of other regions. It's just the counter up there only counts people from the U.S. Uh, without, like, VPNs on and stuff. And um, also there is a bit of a delay because they get, like, verified. And I've been told that can take 24 hours. Does this cost two or is it refresh back to one? Oh, wow, it always sticks to one. Dude, that's actually ridiculous. Um, it's George. Fine. I'll keep him safe for you. Death rattle. Yeah, but there's no rush on Evil Twin. Evil Twin doesn't help me scale. There's actually very few scenarios where Evil, evil Twin would ever help you scale. Go below and just see if the this. offer works in your region. That's it. And if it does. It's a really good deal, especially for those that haven't tried Hella Fresh before. You get to have that experience that you haven't had before. Rip George. Amazing out there. Uh, dragon so Yeah, I think I'd take a Murazon actually. I'm feeling punchy. 
It may not be the most powerful minion on the field, but it's brave. I'm not too worried about the Atlas trait, but yeah, we'll see. For Ruthless, you kind of get that introduction. Like, Ruthless is not playable if you don't invest into extra map drops. So that part's going to be pretty clear. And by the time I'm you. done with those, I should have some understanding about the other stuff I'm trying to get. That's my thinking anyway. Wow, that was a pretty awful video. Is Ruthless Hardcore Solo so found a good way to learn the game? Wow, another one? It's the third one. That's as many times as that hero uses the hero power. <laughs> okay. Do we go Light Fang? I guess it's not bad. Wow. Okay. Better. Here, have a go. Uh, they had the announcement. I was very busy up until the last few minutes leading into the stream. I don't like elementals this game. And losing. And die. out there. I mean, Devour is interesting, but we don't have a great target for it. Let's do this. We can get extra value in doing that, potentially. Uh, okay. Nah, it's a bit slow on that, I'd say. Go hire one of those a bit slow, also a bit slow. Yeah, every single every single game tonight, I'm I'm just constantly missing a major aspect to the build. Or Leroy's this early? I don't really know if that's an amazing idea. It's your destiny to win this. Actually, pretty good. Okay, throw that brand back in the pool. You looked, I mean, you did amazing out there. At this point, magical things yeah, come in get those, small packages. A bit late for that. I 
damn bill. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? No brand, no toxin, no primal fin. No more divine shield uh, magnetic. No more light fangs. No baron. Tough opponents according to their history, so no opportunity to level. <laughs> this is a very frustrating game, man. Skip the gurgle by seer. Well, yeah. I was hoping to get lucky, and at the end, I'm like, well, let's try to at least upgrade the board a little. It's your destiny to win this! Still, though, it looks pretty decent. Yeah. Wow. One v one. Pilford lamps again. Oh my God! The fourth lead explorer. That's insane. That is actually insane. Okay, let's take the Leroy. Kinda want that. Oh my god, will it happen? Poison, please. I'm gonna risk it. You deserve better. Here, have a go. Okay. Here, have a go. Practice makes perfect. Okay. <laughs> Nothing. How <laughs> rude. Silver Surfer was really strong in Snap before they ch changed him. Wait, did they change him? The Silver Surfer deck I played last night was crazy. People were telling me how bad it's supposed to be because of the featured location. And we... I'm not even sure I lost. <laughs> I think we had 100% win rate with that deck. It's a beautiful night. Time for a serenade. You do the same thing, but six costs instead of three. That seems worse. Oh my. Stick with you to the end. Why, of course, I can take that one in. Here's a gold bone. There is so much power in this one. Now take mm, it. Nope. Are you on the guest list? Mm, nope. Really? Like, like, really, really? I can't get anything. Nothing. How crazy is this? This is like the third or fourth game in a row where like the moment I commit to a strategy is the moment where I never get anything to improve it in a meaningful way. See what happens when you dress for success? Yeah, it's because like pull the bear and easy. easy. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, I gained some ground there. But I know you can handle it. Okay. I'll give you a good night. Are you serious? Are you actually serious? I'm very displeased See what right now. When you dress for success? Just need another one of those guys. I knew you could do it. You're my angel investor. There's some good new recruits here. Don't let them get away. Yeah, all the cards I needed right after I can't really use them very well anymore. Yeah, right there. Made you laugh. <laughs> Should have taken the hello box deal instead of asking for good RNG. Fifty fifty, I sabotage the fifty fifty. <laughs> oh no. Well don't uh, let it get you down. Fine. So he he sold the Baron? Why would he do that? Yeah, it was good. That recruit would make a triple. Nothing scares me. Except me. I mean the grease spot's decent, but uh, 
Why skip Medina? Oh, I'm just not interested in winning. Yeah, my favorite part of Battleground is suffering. That's the best. Yeah. The best part is when I'm trying to make a build and I constantly fail. Yeah. That's what I really like about Battlegrounds. The pain. <laughs> That's the best. See? Chat knows. Chat knows. You're unstoppable. Give it to us, Leroy. Oh my god. Yes. We did it. <laughs> uh, you see, you see how much more valuable that win feels after that struggle. Without the struggle, it's just not the same. It's just not the same.